Here we are again for another episode of Wild Science with HEB. In our last video, we talked about habitats. Now we are going to learn about adaptation and the benefits of specially designed bird beaks. In this video, we are going to focus on the adaptations of some of the birds that call the Gladys Porter Zoo their home. But first, let's learn about adaptation. Hello, my name is Emma Baina and I want to know what is adaptation. Adaptation is when an organism's structure or behavior changes to become better suited to survive and reproduce in its environment. This process happens very slowly over many generations. There are many ways that an organism can adapt to its environment, and these adaptations can be broken up into two types, behavioral and structural. Hello, my name is Igor Bayi, and my question is, what is a behavioral adaptation? A behavioral adaptation is an inherited behavior that increases an animal's chances of survival. An example of this would be the way they build their nest, make a bird call, or their migratory route. A behavior may be learned and passed on from one generation to another, or it may become an instinctive behavior passed on genetically. What is a structural adaptation? Structural adaptations are the physical features of an organism passed down genetically by parents. These inherited traits help that organism survive. A bird's beak is a perfect example. Have you ever wondered why birds have so many different shaped beaks? Aside from their feathers, you can say that a bird's most recognizable characteristic is their beak. All birds have one. However, beaks have evolved differently in each species as a response to their environment and diet. Beaks are made of bone, covered in keratin, and come in different shapes and sizes. They serve a purpose that helps them survive in the habitat they live in. Hello, my name is Taylor. What is keratin? Keratin is a protein that makes up your hair, skin, and nails. In animals, it's found in horns, claws, shells, scales, feathers, and beaks. The shape and function of beaks can help determine whether a bird is a generalist or a specialist. Birds that are generalists can live off a diverse diet or habitat, so their beak isn't specially adapted for any one specific kind of food or environment. Birds that are specialists are adapted to a more limited diet and environment. Their beaks are specially designed depending on the specific type of food they eat or the method they use to obtain their food. An example of a specialist would be the roseate spoonbill. Like their name suggests, spoonbills have a long, flat bill with a tip shaped like a spoon. In their wetland habitat, they mainly feed on aquatic invertebrates such as crustaceans, mollusks, and insects, as well as small fish and plants. To find food, they will wade in the shallow water with their bills beneath the surface. They will sweep their bill back and forth, feeling for prey that they can scoop up and eat, similar to how you might use a spoon. There is another wetland bird that also uses its beak underwater, the flamingo. However, its beak works more like a strainer to filter food. Unlike most birds, the bottom mandible on the flamingo's beak is actually larger than the top. This is because flamingos eat with their heads upside down. They will stir up food particles in the water by stomping their webbed feet. Then they will filter food using several techniques. By swaying their heads back and forth, they allow water to flow through their beak, trapping food inside. Flamingos also use their tongues like a pump, pulling in water and pushing it out very rapidly. Any crustaceans, mollusks, or insects that don't get pushed out with the water will get eaten. The beak of a flamingo is specially adapted for the wetland environment they live in and the way they eat. Now let's look at another specialist with a very different type of diet. This is a king vulture. Vultures are scavengers. 
meaning they will feed on the carcasses of dead animals, also known as carrion. Because they typically have weak neck muscles, they rely on their large, specialized beaks to eat their food. All vultures' beaks have a hooked tip, which allows them to rip into the tough flesh of dead animals. The sharp sides of their beaks help vultures easily slice off chunks of meat. But not all sharp beaks are used for tearing meat. Macaws are members of the parrot family. One of the most notable features of a macaw, aside from their brilliant colors, is their strong curved beak. Macaws are herbivores, feeding on seeds, nuts, fruits, and berries. They use their sharp beak like a precision tool, carefully removing seeds and nuts from their shells. The same beak that can break open hard shells is also used to consume fruits and berries. The beaks on all of these specialized birds are just a few examples of structural adaptations. Can you think of any other adaptations you've observed in nature? Check out our bonus video to learn how to make a bird seed treat so you can observe a bird's beak in action in your own backyard. Thanks for watching.